What I wanted to do is give you a quick tutorial on how to set up your Nexus 7 and get you comfortable with the device. So here I have a brand new Nexus 7 that I'm going to get ready to turn on for the first time. The power button is over here on the right side located towards the top of the device. Go ahead and push that. What you're going to see is the device is going to turn on and begin to load up. After it finishes booting up, you're going to be brought to the welcome screen. Go ahead and choose your language, English, and push the play button to move forward. Next, you're going to select the Wi-Fi network. If you're at home, you're going to select your home network if you have it. If you're at the library, you're going to select the library's network. Or if you're at school, you're going to select the KIPP staff network because this is your teaching device. So I'm going to select my home network and I'm going to go ahead and enter in my Wi-Fi password and then I'm going to press connect. It's going to begin connecting to the Wi-Fi network and as soon as it's done connecting to the network, you're going to get this screen where it says Got Google. You're going to go ahead and press yes and use a personal Gmail account at this time. After you push yes, you're going to enter in your Gmail account information and then push forward. It's going to connect your tablet to your account and then ask you some questions around backup and restore settings. Since you probably haven't had an Android tablet before, you're probably not going to want to restore it from an old Google account. And it's going to ask you whether you want to keep your tablet backed up with your Google account. This will allow you to log into any other tablet and have it automatically restore and set up that new tablet just as you had your old one. So you can choose the options you want and go ahead and move forward. Next, it's going to ask you some questions around location data, whether you want the device to recognize where you're at in the world. I go ahead and turn these on because it allows me to get better search results. When I look for something, it knows that I'm here in Oakland, but you definitely have your personal choice on whether you want the device to be able to do that or not. It also helps out when you're using Google Earth or a map tool or something like that. Go ahead and choose your options and move forward. That was it. Now that we're done with the setup, it's going to welcome us to the home screen. Here you have your main screen, something that you can configure or change how you want. So at the top, it's preloaded with some magazines and book titles that you'll be able to look at, but we can also take those off. And down at the bottom, you have the apps that you use most frequently, something that you'll be able to customize for just how you want. The button here on the left, you click that, it opens up all the different Google tools. You'll see the button at the top, that is the Chrome, that's the web browser, and how do you go to different websites and stuff like that. The button here in the center is how you access all of the different apps. If you click on that, it's gonna open up the app menu. Um, it gives you kind of an example. If this is the first time you're logging in, you can close that. There's all the different apps. If you scroll to the right, you'll see different things called widgets. We'll talk about more of those later. And if you click on the Play Store app, it'll actually open up the store where you can play around and try to find different apps, games, books, or movies or something to, to look at. If you swipe to the right, it'll pull out the different categories. You can click on that and it'll open up those. Here I've selected the education app store. I'm going to go ahead and look around, try to see what's available. Um, the options are currently pretty limited, um, but go ahead and just take a poke around there and we're going to be talking more about the different apps and different ways that we're going to use these tablets. So what I'm going to do is find an app that I want to install. I'm going to go ahead and click on that application. It's going to open up all the details on the app. Once you decide that you want to install it, if you click the install button, it'll pull up the terms of service. You click accept and it'll be added to your home screen. After it's been added to your home screen, you can click the home icon at the bottom of the tablet and it'll take you to the home menu. And from there you can click on the app and it will launch the app. Here I've installed the TED app. It's a collection of videos on different topics, mostly educational. They're all about 15 minutes long. They're organized by category. Most apps like this one work in both landscape and in portrait mode. You can click around, find the talk that you want to watch. Um, you can organize them by category. Find the video that you want, push play, and there you go. The next thing I want to show you is the books feature. So if you click on the books button, you will see some preloaded titles. You can click on a title and it'll open up the book. You can go back to the uh, Play Store and see other book titles and view samples. As you can see, the book is pretty seamless. You know, turn it like you would turn pages. Um, that's the reading experience that you and your students are going to have. Now that we're back at the home screen, if you click on the Google button here, you can open up the browser. This is the web browser, you know, where you can type in websites. You can click in 
the box there and it's the one box you can type in an address or a search term so I can type in here Kip Bay Area Schools or Kip Bridge once you type it in it'll take you to the website and you'll see a website just like you would any other computer or phone when you go to a website now the next thing I'm going to show you is particularly cool in my opinion if you swipe up from the bottom it'll pull up something called Google Now and you click next and it'll give you an example of what Google Now is you have to enable it um, but what it is it's like a real-time search assistant where you can get information so if you swipe up from the bottom pull up Google Now go through the process you'll see these little cards that will generate based on either your calendar or your local information However, here's where it gets really cool. You can also ask it questions. How tall is Kobe Bryant? Kobe Bryant is six feet, six inches tall. What's the capital of California? The capital of California is Sacramento. Who's the president of Russia? The president of Russia is Vladimir Putin. What's the square root of 75? Square root 75 is 8.66. You get the idea. Well, that's Google Now, and I can sure you're imagining very many different scenarios where it would be fun to use something like that in your class and how your students should not be using something like that while they're in class. So we also think about the flip side there. So that's the Google Nexus tablet, and I look forward to working with you in the coming weeks.